I discovered the love for coffee in college. For me, brewing coffee was a study break, a reason to get up in the morning, and a way to satisfy my craving for craft coffee on a student budget. Along with brewing coffee, I spent plenty of time in cafes studying. In contrast to a sterile library, cafes were alive with interesting architecture, the smell of coffee, and just enough white noise to allow you to stay focused. Today, we are going to take a wander through San Francisco and visit some of my favorite coffee spots. Located at 277th Street, you'll find our first stop, Sight Glass Coffee. Sight Glass treats coffee like a seasonal fruit, looking to only source coffee at its peak directly from its origin. Using small production methods, each batch of coffee is roasted to perfection. At their headquarter cafe, you'll find a vintage Probat coffee roaster with a little window that lets you view the coffee as it roasts. The little window is known as a Sight Glass and the origin of the Sight Glass branding. Besides great coffee, this cafe has a two-story industrial interior with large windows that face out onto 7th Street, a perfect place to enjoy coffee and do some people watching. Our next stop is Andy Town, with a couple of locations around the city, I think that their location at 181 Fremont is their most interesting. Found on the seventh floor of a luxury condominium building, it can be hard to find, but has the quintessential financial district feel. Andy Town was found on the beliefs of reinvesting in your neighborhood, creating good jobs and using their economic impact for good. Their coffee reflects these beliefs both in taste and in happy baristas. Andy Town understands that coffee is best accompanied by something baked and employs its own in-house bakery. While everything they bake is awesome, the simple salted chocolate chip cookie always hits the spot for a midday pick-me-up with an iced coffee. Finally, we probably have the most famous coffee roaster to come out of San Francisco, Blue Bottle. Even after being acquired by Nestle, they are still worth visiting, and extra effort should be made to visit their ferry building location. Blue Bottle is probably the best way to sum up the startup culture of the Bay Area and Silicon Valley. What once started as a small coffee cart has now become a $700 million e-commerce giant. Blue Bottle has always pushed for fresh single origin coffee and done its best to educate coffee drinkers. Even though Blue Bottle has lost some of its grassroots charm, the coffee in the cup is still one of my favorites. While Blue Bottle locations can now be found all over the world, the Ferry Building location gives you great coffee with the view. Take a small walk outside and you're greeted with one of the best views of the Bay Bridge. I hope you enjoyed this quick wander through the city. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.